Hi, hello, how you doing everybody? My name is Marty Hot 12. We are back playing Pokemon Crystal. We are back in Goldenrod City because um, there's two two things that I want to do real quick. First thing is we need to go over here to the side of the mart because this is actually the bike shop and this guy will give us a free bike if we talk to him real quick. Sorry, I had to cough. <laughs> um, give me a, your name and phone number and I'll loan you my bicycle. Basically, he gives us a bike because he wants us to ride his bike and promote it so people will buy it. Um, so we're actually going to, of course, set that relatively quick to our select button so that we can ride that bike. Um, this house right here, the lady will actually tell you how friendly your Pokemon are to you based upon what she says. It's like how much they love you. And then the second thing... Oh. The second thing I wanted to do real quick is actually jump into the mart. And I actually wanted to... No, not the basement. I want to go to floor 5. I actually want to buy one of these TMs really quickly. Um, I was sitting there thinking about it the other day. Um, so that's... Uh, TM2 is poison... Why do I keep wanting to say poison bomb? Um, Sludge Bomb. Uh, this actually, though, is Revenge, which I think will be a great move to add onto um, Huxtable's repertoire, because that way we have a fighting move, which we don't have, so we don't have any real fighting uh, coverage. Plus, he's going to hit harder when his life is low, so why not teach it to Huxtable? And we'll just go ahead and get rid of Yes, I want to get rid of... We'll get rid of Fury Swipes. Because then we have a nice, diverse pool. We got something that pumps us up and makes us stronger with Curse. Uh, puts up our attack and defense. Uh, it lowers our speed, but Huxable's already slow anyways. So, it doesn't really matter. Most things are going to outspeed us. Um, but, now we do have, like I said, a fighting move. To add to our attack patterns and strategies and all that fun goobly gobbly uh we actually are going to go up here now into the national park i looked it up um it's not bug park there has a it has a bug contest though which is where i think i kept getting bug park for the name walk past all these trainers we spent an entire episode of last week beating which was fun um we're gonna go right up in here I think there's one, two, three, I think there's four items that we can pick up real quick right here in rapid succession. First one is from this girl right here who gives us the Quick Claw, which if you guys don't know, if you are new to Pokemon, the Quick Claw will, like she just said, it gives you a chance of making your Pokemon go first, which if we didn't have the Polka Dot Bow, I would automatically give that to Huxtable. Um, there are a couple trainers in here, but I'm just going to fight them off screen. Um, what are everybody's levels? They haven't changed. I'll probably try and get everybody up to 20 where Raindrops is. So I'm going to fight these trainers in here um, off camera because you guys didn't really... didn't seem like the grinding montage was like super, super hype. Um, so let's catch a Pokemon up here in this weird grass. Um, so I'm not going to do one. If you guys do want me to do one, uh, just tell me and I'll, I'll start doing them again. But if not, our first encounter, first blade of grass, is a Weedle gonna be a good episode guys it's gonna be a good episode I can tell let's t-wave it um, honestly with a weedle that that should be enough to catch it I'm almost positive one two three catch yeah Weedle has a really low catch rate so a, a ball is not gonna really be too hard to catch it um, it's barb on the top of its head secretes a strong poison. Using this toxic barb, I hit the button too fast, but it protects itself. We are going to name this Weedle, um, Queenie, because I think that's a cool name, because she turns into a Beedrill. Where is you? There it is. I'm going to spell it weird, too. I'm going to go IE. I don't think that's weird now that I said it, but it probably is. But the whole, it not being a QWERTY keyboard really mixes, mixes with me. It messes with me. Oh man, we could have had a sun kern. That would have been great. I would have loved a sun kern. That would have been a good grass type to have. Now, like, when do you ever see a sun kern and a sun flora? Like, never. Man. 
Now I really want to just catch one and have you guys close your eyes for like a minute. Over here we pick up the amulet coin. I'm not going to do that though, of course. But I would have much rather preferred a uh, grass type because that really would have been helpful. Um, there are a couple more items over here. Just keep following the path around. Um, this one splits, go straight down, and you will pick up a TM, which is TM38, which is Growl. Great. Thanks, game. Best, best TM ever, guys. Right there. Growl. Hands down. Best move. Nine out of nine. Just, if we didn't have it. Um, and then down here, there's actually a hidden item right in front of you. In that last square. A lot of times, this is just a general tip in Pokemon. Um, like I said, always talk to everybody. Um, I've just I've played Gold and Silver and Crystal so much. I I know pretty much exactly who to talk to to get stuff. But the first time you play it, talk to everyone. You don't know where you're gonna get stuff or who. And if it has a path like that that just you think leads to nothing, more often than not, it's going to have a, a hidden item there, like that bitter berry. Uh, so make sure that you do click A and do your action input so that you can see and pick up a nice little free item. Um, now we are going to have to fight. I don't think this is a new route. I think we actually caught one on this route. Um, over on the other side, there's grass. On the other side of the pseudo widow tree, uh, I'm gonna check. I don't. I really don't want to go in that grass. I'm gonna check in the PC um, after this episode because this is route. What did it say? Thirty, like thirty-three, I think. 34 something like that I'm gonna check and make sure that none of the ones that we have in the box are in our team we caught on this route and if they're not then uh next episode we'll scoop one up real quick oh Kenya you do not need to fight him um Hilo does though Hilo get out of here take him down with that most powerful of embers oh wow you almost one shot him I'm proud of you this is before Sturdy Kid, so he just didn't have the damage. It didn't go the distance. Kenya gets a boosted 181 experience, while Hilo only gets a measly 121. Next up, Cyclist Tia is going to sound... Oh, dude, Skarmory. Skarmory is one of those Pokemon that I really love, but, like, I... I don't know why. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Because you know how you just have weird Pokemon. Wow, that was a crit! Uh, do I have any potions left? I hope I have some potions left. Um. Yeah, I have exactly one. Perfect. Nailed it. Um, one of my favorite Pokemon that, like, I don't know why, I just love it, is Farfetch'd. I, like, it's not the greatest Pokemon. It's not the... I think Fire would do more because Steel resists Rock. Yeah, Fire's gonna be better. Uh, don't sand attack me. That's just not cool, bro. Farfetch. I don't know why. Like, it's not that great of a bird Pokemon. I just remember getting it in, like, the first gen. You can trade for one in, um, Lieutenant Surge's city. I can't remember what that one's called right now. But I did. And he was my first, like, real bird Pokemon. Because even back in the day, like, all my friends had Pidgeys. My brother had a Pidgey. So... I had like a sparrow because I thought, hey, I'll be different. Um, you should be able to take out another Skarmory though, Hilo, no problem. And I think my brother actually wanted my sparrow, or I traded my sparrow to one of my friends through the old school Game Boy Link cables. Um, uh, do we risk it? I say we risk it. As long as it's not a crit, we'll live. See? That's how you play games, kids. Math. Um. Lived on two, though. Hilo, what a beast. I, but I, I, anyways, the moral of the story is I actually traded and got me a Fero, and, not a Fero, a Farfetch'd, and took him to the end of the game as my Pokemon, and I just, I've loved him ever since. 
Okay, Hilo, you're not in the lead anyways. Alright, we're gonna battle this guy real quick, because if memory serves me right, he only has two Pokemon, or one Pokemon. He's not got a lot. Oh yeah, he's only got one. Gentleman, Jonathan. Oh, and it's a Persian. Alright. Uh, Thunder Shock that thing. Crit! There you go, that's my boy, Kenya. You get them crit. Oh, he flinched. Get another crit. Will you stop biting me, please, Persian? Will you please stop? Okay, I'm gonna give you one more T-Shock. Don't you flinch me this time. Don't you do it. There you go, Kenny, coming through when it matters most. Two. I want you guys to realize what he just did. Kenya took a flint, took one Thundershock, critted him, took two flinches, got pissed off about it, and was like, you know what? Crit again. The two attacks he landed were both crits. He just super critted the out of that person. We got Kenya up to level 16. Ooh, almost 17. Look at that special attack, guys. It is almost at 50, and he's only level 16. That is crazy. How strong this Zapdos is going to be for us. All right, now, to continue the game, you actually have to come up here and talk to this girl, which is a new thing in Crystal, because in Gold and Silver, you did not have to do this. Uh, she explains to you, when you sprinkle water on the jiggling tree, it jumps right up. It must be a Pokemon. Um... And then she goes back so that you can actually talk to her sister and get the water bottle. Yes, I want to cut it. Try to use cut. Good job, dry. No battles. Perfect. Um. Yep. So that's. I don't know why. I, I just thought of. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's good old Farfetch. I just like the idea of a Pokemon smacking you with an onion. You actually have to talk to her first. And then she says, um, you gotta beat Whitney. Um, so once you do that, she will hand you over the squirt bottle. And you can go catch. Whatever that Pokemon is gonna be. Sorry guys, I keep coughing. Um, I think I'm getting sick, which is really crappy. During the summer too. But... Um, it was a Sudowoodo, and I told it to replace with similar strength, so we should get a decent, uh, we should get a decent Mon. No lie. Um, I'm kind of excited for it, actually. I'd love, like, a Gligar, or, like, um, what are some other cool Gen 2 folks? Like, a, like a Houndoom? That'd be cool. Or a Skarmory. <clears throat> Do you my voice just go away? I told you guys, I've been coughing. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. Alright, here we go. It's gotta be something good. I... Here we go. I'm gonna close my eyes and just listen to the sound. That... Really? Really, game? Like, really? Oh, Kenya, you're hurt. It's alright, it's a magic carp. I ain't worried. Hit him with that thunder shot. Um, Magikarp again is one of those things that we should be able to catch easy. Um, just paralyzing it should actually be enough. So I'm gonna chuck a ball at it. Let's check this lure ball. Cause it is a fish. And you can't catch it on a rod, so it should have a heightened catch rate chance thingy majigger multiplier. Caught him! It is a him, correct? Yes, it is a boy. Oh, cool, I got a good name for him. Let's name him. This weak and pathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are strong currents. Yes, I would love to give a nickname to Magikarp. We're going to actually call him Poseidon. Which, hey guys, fun fact, we just got another water Pokemon. This, I'm about to change this from Pokemon Randomizer to Pokemon Monolock. Because we literally have like 16 Pokemon in the um, PC that are water. I don't want you guys to think I can't spell, because I can. It's just the fact that the Game Boy um, is not a QWERTY keyboard really messes with me. Um, oh wait, this guy over here actually gives us a TM. This one right here. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. Marty received TM number 8, which is Rock Smash, I think. 
that happen to be bone. Oh. If there are any rocks in your way, find rock. Yeah, rock smash is what it's supposed to be. But it actually is bone rush? Um. An attack that hits two five times. Bone rush is uh, Cubone and Marowak's like, special move. And everybody can learn it. Who would benefit from a ground type move the most? Honestly. Raindrops would because he um, is water and that would take care of... We got Fire Punch to deal with grass and Bone Rush would deal with electric. So then he pretty much has no weaknesses. Um, I'm going to hold on to it for just a little bit though. But that is a powerful, powerful TM we just scooped up. <clears throat> oh, this is a new route. Alright, so uh, we can get an encounter here. Let's see what it is after we pick up the ball trees. Because all these, they give you like black, blue, and red, I think, or yellow. Uh, these trees always drop apricorns, though. And they're right here because um, we're right next to Kurt where he can make Pokeballs for us. So they put these here so you can constantly get a supply of balls. Because Pokemon is all about balls. Balls for everybody. Here's a ball, there's a ball. <laughs> what is our encounter though, guys? It is a Pidgey. Okay. Uh, we're gonna T-Wave. No, I hit Thunder Shock! Don't die. Don't die, Pidgey. Pidgey, no. Pidgey, no. Pidgey, Pidgey. Damn it! Man! I meant to T-Wave him. I just misclicked and hit Thunder Shock. Well, we don't get an encounter for 37. Dang it, man. I really wanted it. Um, let's put Huxtable in the lead. Let's give him some love. Let's get him... Let, I'm just gonna start getting him to 20. Actually, we are right at... We're right at the... Um, alright, I'm gonna sneak past this guy. I'm not gonna sneak past him. I was gonna try and get us up into, um... I think it's Azalea Town? No, Mahogany. I was gonna get us up into Mahogany. Um... Oh, he's only got one. Oh, it's a Weeping Bell. Okay, that's fine. We'll just Swift it. Swiftin. Um, so you guys all know that Raindrops is a huge, um, Adele fan, right? Because he sets fire to the rain. Well, fun fact, Huxtable, actually a huge... You actually got Sleep Powder. I had a whole bit planned out where, like, when he hit you with Swift, I was going to be like, he's a huge Swifty. And then I was going to have an awkwardly paused silence, but no, you just ruined that weeping bell. Oh, Hilo, you're hurt. I can't send you up. Uh, Kaiser, you can, though. Kaiser. Sludge Bomb. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to get right up here into... Oh, Ekerti. Why did I say Mahogany. That's the gym. Where is the Pokemon Center? We can actually scoop up a couple of great things here. We can get Surf, which is going to be so nice. So nice. Um, oh, crap. Well, we're going to do this. I was just going to heal and save and end the episode, but here we go. Uh, hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Marty, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time cap. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past, but you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. You have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, that's what allows you to trade between red and blue and gold and silver back in the day. Yep, heal my Pokemon. Uh, Bill actually gives us a Pokemon, so next time we're in Golden Run, we'll definitely scoop that up. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for, uh, enjoying and liking and commenting on this video. It really means a lot when you show me your appreciation like that. Or not your appreciation. <laughs> when it shows that you're engaged and you like this, I appreciate it a lot. That's what I was trying to say. Um, if you guys haven't already... 
please do hit that subscribe button, become a nut today, and remember, as always, stay nutty, my friends.